the blood that Jesus shed for me. Yeshua HaMashiach will never lose its power. The blood of Christ. Hallelujah. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello. I am Kili Kina, a.k.a. Christina. And my name means follower of Christ. Hi. I just want to share uh, some scriptures now. I love that song. I just discovered it last year. I've been meaning to put this out into the world definitely going to make a more high quality version recording of this someday um <clears throat> but yeah i just want to share these scriptures about the blood of christ and christ himself starting with colossians 1 13 through 20 for he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption the forgiveness of sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For by him all things were created, both in the heavens and on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or rulers or authorities, all things have been created through him and for him. 
He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. He is also head of the body, the church, the believers. And he is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, so that he himself will come to have first place in everything. For it was the Father's good pleasure for all the fullness to dwell in him, and through him to reconcile all things to himself, having made peace through the blood of his cross. Through him, I say, whether things on earth or things in heaven. Did you know that there's multiple heavens? Not everyone has read the Bible, so they don't know that. But there's actually a third heaven. That is where God is, the Father, and Christ, seated at the right hand of God, the Father. And then it doesn't really talk about the other heavens, but you can only assume if there's a third heaven, then there's a second and a first. So a lot of people say that the second heaven is where demons and angels are are fighting and stuff. Because like when Daniel was fasting for 21 days, um, an angel appeared to him on the 21st day and said it took a while to answer his prayer because the angel had to fight through the second heaven to get to him. <sighs> and then Ephesians 1, 7 says, In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Hebrews 9, 14, how much more then will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to God, cleanse our consciences from acts that lead to death so that we may serve the living God. The Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Ruach HaKodesh. Thank you, Yeshua HaMashiach. Thank you, Abba Father. Hebrews 9.22 says, In fact, the law requires that nearly everything be cleansed with blood, and without the shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness. That's why Jesus said he is the way, the truth, and the life, and the only way to the Father. He's the only way we can be forgiven of our crimes against God, for breaking God's spiritual and moral law because of sin. He's the only way to go to heaven. Period. 1 John 1, 7, but if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus, his son, purifies us from all sin. Leviticus 17, 11, for the life of a creature is in the blood and I have given it to you to make atonement for yourselves on the altar. It is the blood that makes atonement for one's life. Romans 3, 24 through 25, and all are justified freely by his grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of his blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate his righteousness because in his forbearance, he had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. First Peter 1, 18 through 19, for you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. Romans 5, 9, since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? In Revelation 12, 11, the devil is defeated by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And we do not love our lives to the death. We aren't afraid to die for proclaiming our faith in the one true living God. No, no more fear. Perfect love casts out all fear. <laughs> I want to share one more scripture that I did not write down. Um, oh, come on, brain. Help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Oh. For by grace, I should have this memorized. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, not through your works. It is a gift of God. Oh, not by works so that no one can boast. (laughs) I kind of messed that up. But Ephesians 2, 8 through 9. For by grace, you have been saved through faith. Faith. For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, 
so that no one may boast or brag about it. It's not by our works. But the word also says that faith without works is dead. So works come after we have been reborn and become a new creation. Like when God sets you free and heals you of so many things after you've truly repented of your sins, changed your mind and turned away from sin and darkness and evil and started just seeking God and his kingdom and his righteousness. And I myself, I've been healed from depression, set free from the spirit of heaviness, which causes depression, anxiety, all fear, PTSD from traumatic, abusive relationships and traumatic experiences, near-death experiences. And through Christ, through God, the most joy I've ever had in my life, peace that surpasses all understanding, the shalom of God, wholeness, tranquility, peace and love god is love there is no love greater than god's love there is no love greater than god's love for us he is love and we are only capable of loving or doing anything because of him so i think that's all i wanted to say for this video i wanted to keep it really short (laughs) i'm trying to get better at that but yeah Check me out on Twitch TV sometimes. I stream live on there. Um, I think eventually I might try streaming on YouTube when I have more of a more of a reach for people because I feel like it's harder to discover people um, as far as streaming goes on YouTube right now. And probably stream on Facebook and Instagram in the future as well. But for now, check me out on Twitch TV. Uh, it's K-I-I-I-K-I-N-A. Kilikina is what it stands for. And like, I didn't even realize it like symbolic- symbolically, it kind of represents God the way it, I, it ended up being because Kilikina was taken. So I just did K, lowercase I, uppercase I, lowercase I. <laughs> so it represents God in a way because in Genesis 1, In Hebrew, it says Elohim, which is the plural form of God. Let us make man in our image. Like, it it helped me understand the Godhead so much more. I don't like using the term Trinity for some reason. Uh, Like, something about Trinity feels off to me. So I prefer Godhead personally. But Elohim, the plural form of God, God the Father, Abba, God the Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, a.k.a. Jesus Christ, and God, the Holy Spirit, Ruach HaKodesh, Elohim. And uh, my friend explained it really well the other day. Um, And it's something I used to say, but I like I forgot for a while and didn't say it. And now I'm trying to remember what he said in the video. Dang it. Well. I guess I'll just have to talk about that in another video because I've come across too many people online that think that Jesus is simply just the son of God. And if you read your Bible, you will find out that Jesus is the word of God made flesh, the perfect image of God, God incarnate in the flesh. He's, he was the son of God. But he also is God because John 1 1 says in the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. And I also read a scripture earlier that talks about him being God as well in Colossians 1 13 through 20. Anywho. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. I don't want to make it any longer. (laughs) May Adonai bless you and keep you. May Adonai make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May Adonai lift up his countenance upon you and give you shalom. I just, I don't even feel led to edit this video because I don't know. I like it when stuff is raw like this. Like bloopers and outtakes of things are the best to me. Like it's always a good laugh. So you can laugh at me for my mistakes and this awkwardness and it's fine. It's totally okay. 
So thanks for watching. Bye for now.